Hi everybody, my name is Jim with Fullman Adventure Club and I am super excited because BigBattery.com just sent me over a bunch of new gear to review for you guys and I love it. I loved it all so much that I actually permanently integrated it into my house and um, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I have so many cool experiments to show you guys. Today we're gonna be talking about Big Battery's Husky 2. It's a 24 volt, 200 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery with an IP65 water rating, which means you could just spray it with a high pressure hose from any angle for 15 minutes it never hurt the thing it's built like a tank this thing is ridiculously overbuilt I mean it's just strong as it could possibly be it is a massive battery all kinds of mounting options any way you want um, it is lithium iron phosphate so it'll last you about 10 years if you cycled it every single day the 3500 cycles to 5000 cycles depending on how you use it which is crazy what else about this battery it has these communication ports built in so you can actually, you don't need to have a like a battery shunt and a bunch of extra gear to actually monitor what's coming in and out of the battery. It has all of that built in. So when you plug in cables, it can communicate with other stuff like I have it going into a Victron uh, system. I can monitor that with my phone or a computer from anywhere in the world and see how many amps are going in, coming out, its state of charge, all that stuff is built right into the battery. If you don't have the extra equipment to hook it up to, it also has Bluetooth so you can just download the app and check it right off of your phone and get lots of detailed information about the battery state of charge and how it's doing, which is very cool. They give you both. Um, it also has a uh, power meter built in so you can actually just look at the battery and see if it, what percentage of battery charge it's at, you know, 25, 50, 75, 100, stuff like that. An on off button, which is always great because you can use that to wake up the battery. I always love that feature. It comes in handy a lot. If your battery goes completely dead, you push that button, it'll automatically wake it up without you having to hook up something to charge the battery and wake it up. So that's also very, very handy. Has a built-in heater, so you can use this in sub-zero temperatures. You're gonna be just fine. It will heat itself if it's too cold. You can charge, discharge in, in below freezing temperatures, which is a big concern for a lot of RVers. This thing is just super duper cool. So. Uh, what I what I did is I basically threw all this stuff together and I'll, sh I'll show you a little bit of that, but we're gonna just unbox it, talk about it for a second, and then I'm gonna show you exactly what it can do by running huge portions of my house that I directly wired it into and um, running deep freezers and the house and all kinds of big stuff. And we're just gonna see what this guy is actually capable of. Um, thank you so much, bigbattery.com for sending me over this gear to review. If you're interested in any of this gear that you see in this video, the links are down in the description below that'll take you over to Big Battery's website and save you 10% off literally anything that you buy there, which adds up pretty darn quick um, for big savings. So click that link down in the description below if you wanna check this out a little bit further and it's something that you're interested in. Let's jump right into this thing because it's so cool, you guys. Now this guy weighs 95 pounds, which is no joke. So it does come with some very heavy duty carrying handle straps and also two rubber grommet terminal post covers uh, to protect those connections after you get it installed. It's built like a tank. It looks incredibly cool. The brackets can be put pretty much anywhere you want because of all the different screw hole attachments. And of course you're gonna have your communication ports, your on off button and your display right there and your terminals. Very, very cool. Um, the only problem is I've never had a 24 volt system in my house. So Big Battery was nice enough to send over all the components I would need to actually test this guy and use it with some Victron gear that's 24 volt compatible. So I got to work kind of making this little portable board So because I wasn't sure where I was gonna put it or if I was gonna you know, keep it permanently installed in the house or anything like that. And so I spent a lot of time just kind of trying to figure out how to get all this stuff kind of set up on this board before I mounted it and then it was done. <laughs> I will say it's important that you purchase this Type A Victron communication cable if you're using Victron gear because it helps the Husky 2 communicate with Victron gear and it can be kind of a bear if you don't have it. I had to order one and uh, it solved all of my problems so I'll put a link in the description below in case you need to pick one of those up. I then began the process of wiring up my incredibly horrifying old house and I would highly recommend that you get a qualified electrician because mistakes can be very, very bad. I have made fire! I! 
So after a very complicated and frustrating wiring job, this is what I ended up with. And it's 41 LED light bulbs connected together in seven different rooms throughout the house. And then seven plugs in the living room, which power my 60 inch flat screen TV, my stereo receiver, two powered subwoofers, another receiver for my Bose on either side. All of my gaming systems are in standby and could be turned on. That little weather station with the time and temperature, a lamp, two more light bulbs in the dining room, those LED flame lights on the wall, that lava lamp. There's a cell phone booster down there connected as well. We're gonna have our internet router right here is connected and powered on through one of the plugs, our landline telephone, some more lamps on the side, an Alexa, two smart plugs, and then every single light in this house, every room is all wired to the same circuit and that's just the way the house is originally wired. So the kitchen, the bedroom, the other bedroom, the hallway light, the bathroom lights, the living room lights, Everything is currently being powered by the Victron inverter and the Husky 2 right now as we speak. That might sound like a ton of power, but because everything is LED in my house, we really only use between 200 and 4 or 500 watts max, and that battery is rated to put out around 5,000 watts continuous, and the inverter is rated for 3,000 watts continuous, and it is wired to do so, so I'm well below what I'm capable of. And now we're going to see how long it'll run all this stuff with a cool time lapse test. Let's go to it. So this particular test is everything that I just showed you running upstairs and I'm gonna set up a little uh, little timer. I don't currently have my communication uh, cable for these tests, so this will be the best way that I can really demonstrate that is using the Bluetooth and this little tablet connected to the Husky 2 via Bluetooth and we'll just have to muddle through until that communication cable shows up a little later. Let's start the test. You can see we're at 100% and we start discharging at about 11.5 amps. We're gonna let that run. I have some problems with the tablet, but we'll muddle through. And at the 50% mark, we're at about 10 hours, which is pretty cool. We're using the house like normal right now. We're turning lights on and off, the TV on and off. We sleep somewhere in between and uh, we just kind of go about our business. But considering that with all those systems functional and being used, uh, we can, in a power outage, we wouldn't even notice that all those systems were affected at all. And we end up with 25 hours to 6%. It probably would have gone another 30 minutes, but I just went ahead and hit the grid switch back on. And we were able to charge back up in three hours at about 60 amps. This battery is capable of being charged at 150 amps, which is crazy. That would, that would cut the time down to one hour. So I think that's very, very impressive. I thought it would be cool to hook up my refrigerator and my deep freezer uh, to run this experiment so we could kind of see how long they last because that's going to be very typical that things that people want to have backed up in case of a power outage. So we have our timers and our and, and our little watt meter there so we can see how much power is consumed and our Bluetooth to kind of check on the battery itself. And uh, this is a 7.5 cubic foot deep freeze and also a full double door LG refrigerator. And we're going to let that run um, just using them like we normally normally would. And what we're going to end up with here near the end is going to be, let's see, 46 hours and 40 minutes. And if we go to the last frame, you can see that we used 4,320 kilowatt hours from that battery. Very, very cool test. Now let's move on to doing the entire house and the deep freeze and the refrigerator so that we can see what all of this stuff connected would, uh, would do as far as uh, blasting just off the Husky 2 battery. So you can see we're discharging there. That process is gonna begin. Then I'm gonna go ahead and push uh, start on the timer and we will see exactly how long it does with the deep freeze, the double door fridge and the entire house as we've already seen um, through this process. Again, this tablet's always giving me problems, but I try and come down and turn it back on, but we lose it, the thing comes disconnected. But the great thing is I saved the experiment because I came to check on this at like five o'clock in the morning or something. And I happened to notice that it was off and I turned it on right as we were down at about 4%. And so here you're gonna see me firing it back up in a frenzy trying to catch it. And what we end up with is at 4%, 19 hours. And so that's, that's pretty cool running everything in my house plus the refrigerator and the deep freeze for 19 hours. We'd never even notice that the power had turned off for those systems. I think that's incredibly impressive for the Husky 2. So I am absolutely loving this entire system. I have a lot of videos to do that's gonna show you the way I did this, the way I wired it up, the way I set up this, uh, these components to work together. It's gonna be a lot of fun, but today's focus was on the big battery Husky 2, and I have to say I'm incredibly impressed with it so far. I am never getting rid of this thing, and I think this is gonna remain a permanent setup in my house because the way this is set up, when the power goes out, 
I, I don't even notice. It just takes over automatically. And this battery has been performing really, really well and lasting a very long time with the power loads that I'm placing on it. And so I think this is gonna be a really a cool, just permanent addition to my house. And I thought it was pretty neat um, just sharing it with you guys. And I just want to say thanks again, Big Battery, for sending this out to me. This is gonna make a lot of videos. This is gonna be super fun to play with and push it to the limit and see what it can actually do so I can help you guys figure out if this is something that is in your wheelhouse. Again, if it is, link in the description below, save you 10% off anything at Big Battery's website, and that saves quite a bit. Um, I think that about wraps it up, really digging it so far. I will let you guys know if anything ever goes wrong with any of this gear in the description below, so always make sure you check that stuff out. I think that about wraps it up. If this video was helpful, please like, share, subscribe. That really helps me out. And until the next video, my name is Jim with Fullman Adventure Club. Thanks so much for watching, you guys, and happy camping.